This is uh, Kugan Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm joined by Mr. Arms Corleone. Yes, sir. What's happening, mate? I'm good, my brother. How you doing? You okay? I'm all good. Do you know what? Because your shot is here, people can't really see what you're rocking. So can you just hold the mic for one second? I'm going to pan down. Yes. I got you. I got you. Get a, get, a, get, a, get a drip in. Get a drip. Get a drip. Get a drip. You get me? Don't have a drip. You get me? Mumsy slippers on deck. You get me? Come in comfortable, 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 comfortable. It's quite a look. This is a Friday night look as well. It's everyday look, man. I'm very comfortable. I, I, I'm, I'm comfortable in my own skin. I, I, I ain't come here to be uncomfortable, man. I'm, I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? It's all good, man. I'm representing my culture. You know what I'm saying? It's all good, man. I like that attitude. Um, okay, Minicon. Tell me why you're fighting him. I'm fighting him because I just want to fight. Um, Showstar approached him, well, approached me. They asked me if I wanted to be involved in their, in their fight, in, 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 obviously in, the, in their show. I said yes. Um, at the time, I was, I was training for my MMA, for another MMA fight. And um, they came with a, you know, the opportunity. I spoke to my coaches and they said, yeah, why not? A fight's a fight. So whether it's MMA or boxing, so let's go for it. Um, so I put my MMA training on, on hold and um, I started doing some boxing training. And to be honest, I was doing boxing training before anyway because MMA is part of striking, isn't it? You get me? So it's all good. Um, but with him, they they approached me and they, they were looking for an opponent. They brought a few opponents and then um, I was like, nah. But then this guy, he seemed like he was up for it, you know what I mean? Because he's very outspoken. He's 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 um, he's a, he's got a vibrant personality about him. So I thought, I thought, yeah, why not? Let's do it. There is a, a stereotype and a, a stigma attached to to guys that look like you. Is in obviously. You look in incredible shape, but can you fight? And I'm sure you've had that in your life as well, because I know loads of people that look like you, but they can't fight. So there is a stigma attached, not just with my conversation with you now, but in general. Uh, but you're kind of proving that that is not the case because you can look how you look, but if you can fight, you can fight. Yeah, that's the thing. I think a lot of people um, get them, are, are, are confused or are, they get the misconce mis misconception that just because they go to gym or they do some sort of uh, weightlifting or physical activity that they can fight, but uh, that's not the truth. Do you know what I mean? Fight training and, and um, training in a gym as in weightlifting is so, so different. It, you know, you can lift all the weights you want. You can lift about whatever, 200 kg on a bench, but that's not going to translate to fighting. Do you know what I mean? It's a totally different ball game. So, um, to be honest, it's, it's not me trying to prove that um, somebody of my stature could could fight. It's just I'm just doing it for myself because, like I said, to, I've been saying to these people, um, I, I, I'm I, when when I, when I'm too comfortable, I get uncomfortable. I like to be uncomfortable. Do you know what I mean? I like to be put in my uncomfortable zone because I know I grow and I thrive there. Do you know what I mean? And I'm always. Um, looking to heighten my discipline anyway so it's great you know what i mean but um yeah in terms of you know, back to your question about you know people being my satchel and fighting uh no it doesn't mean that you can fight you know the training is so so different you know what i'm saying just because you're 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 big doesn't mean you know you, but if you got heart you got heart you know what i mean the street fighting is different you know what i'm saying but then when it, when it gets in the ring and you, you get in the cage it's a whole different ball game you know what i mean so i, I sorry again i don't want to Waffle on, but I just want to make it clear that I never came out to say that I was a fighter. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just me. I like to learn, and that's all it is. Well, I went to the gym four days in a row, and I thought I was rocky. So, <laughs> yeah. And the other fourth day was on a Friday, so I was out. So I was like, yeah, been to the gym four days. You know what I mean? That's the thing. That's the thing. That's why a lot of people um, get knocked out because they go to the gym. They think like yeah, they can bench press whatever. Um, they can kill this, this and that, they go to arms, whatever, whatever, and then they go out and they, they, they mess with the wrong guy and then they get punched up, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of the time, people don't understand that this fighting thing is about cardio, cardio is king, um, which, which, which was evident in my first fight. I was, for the first two rounds, I was okay, but the third round, I was smash. I was finishing, I had, I, I had five rounds to go through with that, do you know what I mean? So, um, again, moving forward, I've learned that cardio is just king, man, you know? And I was, the thing I, I saw with me is I was, I was skeptical about um, taking combat sport because I thought the cardio would, you know, would trim, would like take away my muscles. You know, being in that mindset, I just had to get out of that and just sacrifice everything. But to be honest, I haven't actually lost um, a lot of weight. I'm, I'm in the best shape of my life. 
mentally, physically, spiritually, and physically. So it's like, yo, it's, it's, it's great, man. It's very awesome. Obviously, there is one fight of yours that drew particular attention. When you look back at that, what is your assessment of, of that with Bouncer? So when I look back at that, um, I've got nothing to say about my opponent. I can only look at myself and assess myself and we do, do self-evaluation on myself. I don't, I, don't, I don't care what he came to do. You know, what he came to do um, was very tactical and I commend the brother for that. I've got nothing bad to say about him, but I can only talk about myself. And for me, it was just a case of uh, lack of preparation, um, a lack of experience. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it's those, those two combined, looking back, I haven't, I haven't been dwelling on it, but I've just been learning from it. You know what I mean? And a anything that I've learned from that first fight, I've put into this camp now. So um, again, I've learned so much that like, you live and you learn, man. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm proud of myself for obviously doing that. And, you know, against all odds, I still came, came through to perform. Like I said, I was, I was, I was horribly injured, man. I had so many injuries. Um, I got a scare when they said I had a blood clot in my leg, you know what I mean? And they put me on blood thinners. And unfortunately, it wasn't that. It was a baker cyst, a huge baker cyst, which I had to get drained. But against all odds, I still came out to fight to one. I still have a tear up. And obviously, um, my opponent had different ideas, you know what I mean? He just wanted to uh, have a hug fest instead of a slug fest, you know what I'm saying? So it is where it is, man. We move. <laughs> That's it. It's about moving. Um... What happens Saturday night at the OVO Arena here at Wembley? What happens is that I go in there, um, I stick to my discipline, I listen to my coaches, um, everything that I've trained, all the drills, all the cardio, you know, all the suffering that I've, I've had in terms of like just putting my body, pushing my body so far, they're going to see, I'm just going to just leave it all out in there, do you know what I mean? And we're going to have fun, man. Yeah, man, it's all about having fun. I, I, l listen, um, I, 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 love, I love a tear-up, man. I love fighting, do you know what I mean? It, it's not... I, it, the, all this talking stuff, I'm just, I'm just like, oh, when can we fight, man? Do you know what I mean? Uh, but it's, it's, um, for me, it's, um, it's good for me to channel my energy into this professionally. Well, I'm not a professional fighter, but in, in, a, in a controlled setting. I'm not out here, you know, trying to fight people, trying to, like, be a, a minister to society just because I know I can fight or whatever, whatever. I'm actually just doing it so I can put um, food on the table for my family and that's my only focus and plus it's, it's a bonus because I can I can again heighten my uh, my spirituality my self-awareness and my uh, my discipline so yeah man it's great it's a great film by the way Menace to Society yeah yeah it is it's, it's, it's a, a listen old dog old dog old dog Kane and old dog you say what about my mama you say what about my mama <laughs> 59 <laughs> 5, 9, 5, 59 9, 5. What you say about my mama? Oh, dog, yeah, yeah, I love that. I love Great that. film, absolutely brilliant film. Um, Mr. Corleone, sorry, final question. How did you develop the name of Arms Corleone? Obviously, the arms part we know, but. No, nah, no, nah, you don't. People think they know um, the true meaning of arms, but they don't. You're talking about guns? Come on, bro. Uh, bro, no, <laughs> man. All right, all right, boom, so I'm going to break it down. I, I'm going to break it down Go properly, innit? I've always been embarrassed to tell this story, but. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not. I'm not like I said. You know, you change, and you? you you go through life, and um, you, you 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 change, and you, you you live and you learn. But arms is just a name that the man them gave me because when I was younger, we used to just get get in a lot of like a lot of madnesses. You know, what I mean, we used to fight all the time and street fights, whatever, wherever. Like, I'll, I'll get rushed, get my guys go rush my man, wherever, wherever. Do you know what I mean? So arms was like something that the man then gave me because I was always on arms, whatever, arms house, you know what I mean? That's, a, that's UK slang for fighting. So the man then gave me that and um, Corleone came because I, uh, I, I'm, I'm a fan of The Godfather, the, the, the Mafia movie and the, the game. At the time I used to play a lot of um, Mafia, you know what I'm saying? So Mafia games, so Godfather was one of the ones so, and I, I, I like the name Corleone, you know what I mean? So I, I just attached that to arms. Which is your favourite Godfather? Um, it's got to be number two, man, come on. When they go back to Sicily, you see all kind of the, the roots of where it all started, surely. Do you know what, Do you know what it is, yeah? Um, I've yet to take in the, movie, the movies properly. Like, I, I just, I'm not really much of a, a movie watcher, but I tried to get into it, but it was the games that I played. It was the games. So it was from the games that I learned about Corleone and all of that stuff. And I was like, you know what? A lot of people out here are called, you, you know, you can walk down the hood and 
there's about 10 man called arms, you know what I mean? But I was like, let me just differentiate myself and then attach that Corleone to it. But you know what, I, I was able to change that narrative to something positive, do you know what I mean? I'm not trying to pose like I'm a bad boy or whatever, whatever. I don't care about that, you know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a family man, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a businessman, I do what I've got to do to make money to, to feed my family and that's that, do you know what I mean? Arms Corleone is just a, 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 a name given to a different layer of myself. It's, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, it's not, it's not who I am as a whole, you know what I mean? So it was just a, a different layer of my, per, my personality, really and truly. I'm glad you explained it to me because my perception of you, like I said, were two different things with those kind of two names. So I'm glad that you've explained that, kind of the, the origin of where the name can try from. Yeah, 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 nah, nah, for sure, for sure. A lot of people, a lot of people don't know me. A lot of people don't know um, what ARMS is really about and or why I do what I do, you know what I mean? I, I, I get a lot of trolls online. Um, oh, why are you training so much? Why are you doing this? Why, like, da, 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 da. But it's like, yo, you don't know where I've been, man. Do you know what I mean? I've, um, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to be one of those guys that have been able to find um, a place for me to channel my energy into something really, really positive. Um, and it's, it's worked out really well for me. Um, through training, through fitness, I've... I've I've been to places I thought I, I, I would never be. I, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm living a life I thought I'd never live. So um, coming from where I'm coming from, I, I, I mean, I, maybe one day I'll tell my story, but do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's people don't understand. It's not just I go in there just to look big or just to um, lift heavy weights and be like, oh, look at me, I fucking lift heavy weights. So, excuse my language. Um, it's not, it's not, it's deeper than that. Do you know what I mean? And, and like I said, um, it's cool. People don't know who I am and people think arms is just, yeah, it's, um, you know, whatever you see on Instagram, but that's not the reality of things. It's just what I choose to portray. Yeah, you know what I mean? I like that message. Uh, Mr. Corleone, if I can call you that. I love that, I love that, I love that, I love that. I love that. Corleone, uh, appreciate your time. Uh, we look forward to, obviously, the Wayne tomorrow night uh, here at Wembley and Saturday night. It's on. It's on, man. I'm looking forward to it as well. I've been, I've been itching. I'm, I'm, I'm so confident within myself. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to be here. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, man, let's go. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Hopefully, we'll grab a word of you after your fight on uh, Saturday night at uh, uh, Wembley Arena. But best of luck. And uh, I hope you ring walk like this. My ring walk is going to be epic. You're going to see it. It's going to be very epic. It's going to be better than this. Much, much better than this. It's not bad. Thank you very much. God bless. Good luck on Saturday. All right?